Hi, I'm Whammy. I joined the 1902 Society because I want to make sure the camp is around for 100, another 100 years after I'm gone. Camp is a special place. It so joining the 1902 Society was definitely a really easy decision for me. It's been a big part of my life, um, thanks to my uncle. You don't have to give a dime out of your wallet now. It won't hurt you and it ensures that camp will be around for another 110 years. Right, which is what everybody wants. Hi guys, we're Judy and Steve Sales. We met at Surprise Lake Camp in the summer of 1969. In the month of August, we'll be married 37 years, and we just love this place. We met here. Uh, camp has been very, very important to us. When we were offered an opportunity to join the 1902 Society, we, feel, we felt that camp was so good to us, the least we can do is uh, try to remember it later on. Another reason we joined the 1902 Society is because we met lifelong friends here and we're still friends with them for many, many years. I remember them when they were much younger. <laughs> yeah, I started in 61 and stayed till 77, so it's, it's mind-boggling. So I, I love this camp. And we've, so been I. and we've been friends ever since. So my name is Randy Sperber and um, really excited to be here today as part of the 1902 Society. Um, camp is probably the most important thing that I've ever had in my life. I started here when I was 16 as a CIT and uh, I've never looked back. It's been a part of me, a piece of my heart and joining the 1902 Society was just a natural uh, next step uh, to take it to an even deeper level, my love and commitment of this beautiful, beautiful place. Hi, I'm Mark Tenenhouse and I joined the 1902 Society. Um, as somebody that always believed in giving back, I have always given back. And when this opportunity came, it was my way of honoring the camp for everything that it has done, um, not just for me, but it has done for the countless generations of, of, of young people that have come here, uh, specifically for me, um, for the memories and the good friendships I have made. And for the best part of it all is that all three of my kids came here and they made enduring friendships following exactly as I did. Um, and they're, in fact, they're, they're even friends with kids that I'm friends with the parents. So it's been a nice thing. It, it goes through generations. In a lot of ways, I am third generation here. And um, I can't say enough, but um, it's important for people to give back. And it doesn't matter how much you give back, or what you can afford, it's just in principle, just give back a little something. And uh, put a smile on a kid's face and, and that's all you can do. I'm Adele Stern. Henry Stern. We are not alumni. We had absolutely nothing to do with this camp. We happen to live a road away on Barrett Pond Road. Which in Cold Spring. In Cold Spring, which parallels Surprise Lake. And we had an old friend of ours over one day for the day, and we decided to do what many of us do here in Phillipstown. We decided to go on a hike. And we hiked up to a place called Surprise Lake Camp, at which point, actually, it was Henry's friend, totally dissolved. He said, this was the camp I went to when I was a little boy. And he started recognizing this camp that he thought was so, 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 so far away from the city, which I guess is a and way... And a long bus ride. And a long bus ride. Very long bus ride, yeah. he thought. He got introduced to very strange American food, because his mother was cooking German food, German Jewish food. And he said, this introduced me to peanut butter and jelly. I myself was a counselor in another camp in New Jersey and I know camping means a lot because you make friendship that lasts not for a season but sometimes in a lifetime. So I think it is critically important that we support programs like Surprise Like Camp. 
and how fortunate we are to have it right in our own backyard. Hi, I'm Evie. I'm Mara. And we have been friends for 30 years because of this place. I'm the main side camp director this summer. I'm the teen side camp director this summer. And we are both members of the 1902 Society. Because camp has given us so much that we want to give back to camp. You should too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we joined the society because Supplies Lake is very important to us. For me, I was a camper here since I was 10 years old. I met my husband here. Um, our kids go here, and it's just it's special to me, it's special to them, and we want it to be special for the future Paulettes and everybody else who comes here. Surprise Lake is my favorite place in the world. When I close my eyes to go to my happy spot, it's on teen side, facing main side, looking at the lake. So, <laughs> the nice, the nice so, like Sheila, my kids come here, I met my husband here, and um, I want future generations to get the same benefit of camp that I got. And we met here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we did good. We uh, belong to the 1902 Society. My name is Mark. My name is Chuck. And uh, we've been going to camp uh, since 1902. And we look really great for being that old. We're about 30 or 40 years. Yeah, right. Like so join the I 1902 Society. Give something back to a great place that's given so much to us. It's easy. Oh. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Andy Gruber, my husband Art. Hi. And I was at camp uh, probably in the 1960s. It was a really special place, and every time I drive up the camp road, the tears well up in my eyes. It was a place for memories. It was a place for friendships. It was a place for feeling really good about yourself, and um, we certainly would like more children to be able to have those experiences that I had when I was here. I became a member of the 1902 Society because camp has become more or less the most, one of the most important things of my life. Uh, it uh, is my home, it is my extended family, and it means so much to so many people. And, uh, and I want to do my part to make sure that camp is there, uh, not only here, but financially secure uh, for many, many years to come. And knowing that when I'm no longer here, that, uh, that camp will remain strong and will remain able to do uh, its mission, and that's providing these incredible summers for campers, hopefully forever. Surprise Lake Camp is really a second home for us. It is an incredible place, which is magical, and we keep coming back. In fact, we've come back for 17 summers. Our children have grown up here. What better expression than to join the 1902 Society to show our children the importance of Sadaka, of giving back, because Prize Lake Camp is an incredible place that builds self-esteem in children. And we're proud to be a part of this magical place. So thank you for giving us so much, and it's time for us to give back. Thank you. I feel it's a place where I make a big difference, and I feel it's in a great a uh, great place to work and it seems out of all the work that I do that it is perhaps some of the most important work that is done here with uh, you know inspiring campers whether it's Jewishly musically and I think it's important that this be carried on for long after we're here so yeah that's why we're in the 1902 Society. All right, well, I'm one of the founding members of the 1902 Society, and I love Surprise Lake Camp. I've been on the board for many years, and I really would like to give more money to Surprise Lake, but I can't afford to do so while I'm alive, so I figured it was a good idea to do it once I was dead. And I don't think my children are going to miss any of that money, and it's going to a good place. Hi, I'm Joe Novick, and uh, I was a counselor here in Surprise Lake Camp in uh, 1972 to 77 and uh, the reason why I joined the 1902 Society is because it's a way of giving back. Um, I enjoyed being in camp in uh, all the years that I was here as a counselor and I maintain friendships here and uh, I have to say that uh, today driving up the road I got the exact same feeling that I get each and every time I come here, which is uh, anticipation of seeing friends, seeing people who are like my family, and it's one of the things that's uh, very important to me is keeping that legacy going into 
uh, the next 110 years. So uh, that's why I'm a member. Okay, my name is Joel Zabar. I first came here back in 1965 as a camper. I was here for 14 years. I uh, lived in Brooklyn, came up here. It was just the best place in the world after a couple of weeks. My brother also was here. Both of us met our wives here. He met Barbara, I met Anne. All three of my children have been here at various times for about anywhere from 10 to 15 years each and my son Alec is still here working as a CA and it's just a great place for our family and uh, want to do something so to make sure that it's around for a long time in the future so uh, other kids can get the uh, benefit of being here. Just a really great place. Hi, I'm Dan Shulman and I have joined the 1902 Society. Why I joined the 1902 Society? Why not? I've been here for over 14 years of my 22 years existing in this world here at SLC. It is a place where I've experienced the best times of my life. I've been comforted, loved. I owe my life to it, so why not give back when I leave this place? And I hope you do too. Hi, my name is Dennis Sternberg. I joined the 1902 Society because of this, because of camp. Camp actually was one of the most important places that I've ever been to in my life. Um, my kids have all had the same experience I did. Um, I was here for many years. It really changed my attitude towards people, towards helping other people, um, and brought me out of my shell as a kid and gave me a, a place to come from the city, which was all concrete. And to a, first time I think I ever played ball on grass was here. Um, and I just love the place, and I, you know, I want to ensure that it's going to be a, a opportunity for kids to come here for many, many years to come. It's my pleasure to join the 1902 Society.